eaten some homemade waffles. Some homemade waffles and mm -hmm. some homemade milk. <laughs> homemade milk. <laughs> Alley milk. And mm. some homemade eggs where the chickens laid them. And what is this the that you honey. dip in your waffle in? The honey. Honey. Honey from bees. What you doing, bud? Getting ready to make a milking business. Well, good morning. Welcome to the Max. We are actually, it's about 5.20. We are actually going out to milk for the day. Uh, it's been a great few days. We have went through Thanksgiving and of course uh, some of the shopping that had to get done. Uh, and now, today, we really don't have much going on. Uh, I've got to fix a pig waterer. Um, and we're probably going to do just some little stuff around the house with the kids and grill out tonight. Just have a good day. Um, but, you know, milking's got to take place. I'm actually kind of under the weather. I don't feel the best in the world. Um, I wish I could have slept in, but you know, it doesn't work that way. So she's got to be milked, and we understand that. Uh, just a little update on the milking. I have to turn the light on. A little update on the milking is... Elsa has done phenomenal. Yesterday was probably our best day. She kind of went on in the stanchion. Uh, what we've started doing is kind of getting away from trying to get baby Josie in the stanchion with her, even though that's what most people do. She tends to get a little bit more nervous when Josie's in there. So we've let her just kind of hang out and run around the paddock while we're milking. And at the very end, Josie tem tends to want to come in. So that's good. We've been very pleased with that, but just, uh, it, it, yesterday was a good day. I mean, it really was. We had a great, great, great milking time and you know, that's a good thing. So let's see what happens today. We've got to get her in. Uh, I don't have video of it and I know that uh, my wife actually laughed about it, but now she felt kind of bad, but the other day, day it was about day five or six um it was right after the last video basically i uh was trying to round them up and fail oh my gosh i messed up my calf and i either broke my toe or caused a major issue it's like solid black so i can't really run or do anything like it's killing me so i'm just making do with what i've got <laughs> but i can't hardly walk Plus, I don't feel too good, so it's just gonna be one of those days. So I'm hoping cows don't act like cows and they act like family and they sympathize for me because other than that, it's gonna be a long morning. So let's get done, let's get them rounded up, let's get milking done and go inside and get a cup of coffee. She here, she's ready to be milked. Let's go get that taken care of.
All right, you see, it took it didn't take too long to get her in. She's actually been doing a lot better. But where we were messing up, we were trying to get you know Josie in here first. Well, she didn't want to go in because Mama wasn't in there. But Mama didn't want to go in because Josie didn't want to go in. So it worked out better. Missy just said, "Hey, look." The last week, she was like, "Don't just don't worry about the baby. If she don't want to come in, don't let her come in." If because Allie trusts us enough to where she's not worried about her baby being around us. So. She's the last two mornings we've done that. We've approached, hey, let's just don't worry about the baby. If the baby comes in, great. If the baby doesn't, no biggie. And man, that's been great. She came in both times, and like I told you, I'm a little sick feeling and kind of messed up foot. So, not having to chase a baby is awesome. So, let's get milked. Um, like I said, we're going to do iodine pre dip first, um, get her ready. She's been milking over two gallons the last two days. What? That's crazy for a. A new milker uh elsa again at her best time last winter uh in february or so she was milking around two gallons other than that there's never a time that she was straight to milk um two gallons usually it was like uh, you know a gallon point four gallon point six somewhere around there all the time which that was awesome um but man Allie's knocking it out we knew that because her you know her bag is so big normally so let's get her milked let's get her done for the day um and like I said, I'm gonna go in and get a cup of coffee. It's, I took my jacket off because it's not it's it's cool, but it's not cold. Uh, and sometimes in this stanchion, it gets a little warm with all these lights. So um, let's get her done so we can finish up uh, this morning. You know, I, I really don't mind hand milking, but uh, this really does work really well now since we've done those few modifications. If you haven't seen the video on this pump. Uh, like I said, I, I wasn't too pro pump at first, but after we've done a lot of stuff to it, <clears throat> cut some hoses, got some clamps, it, it does what it's supposed to do. We've been very pleased with it now. I really can't say enough how good stanchion training did for us. I was going to do a review on the Cal Kent Kit Kit. I bought a Cal Kent Kit maneuver, basically a little piece that goes on her. I've not had to use it, so I've been very pleased with not having to use that uh, cow can't kick. So, um, been very pleased, very, very pleased. Well, the morning is getting here. Um, she's filling up. You can see that she's almost done eating. I used I used to not let them eat, especially when uh, they don't they're not milking a cow um, and feeding the cow too. Excuse me. But since she's feeding a cow, I make sure she eats all that I give her, all the alfalfa, all the dairy feed, all the just the regular sweet corn crack corn mix so all that i want to make sure she's eating because you know she she needs it so you think if she's pumping out two gallons for us feeding the calf it's fall winter here that's a lot on her so but again always always let her know she's done so good good job Allie. good job she did good. all right Light's still on the barn. We're first going to go turn it off. And that will conclude the morning, early morning chores of milking. Uh, if you have thought about getting a milk cow, uh, I think they're a great asset, great investment to your homestead, to your farm. Um, but please know they are a sacrifice. When people say, ah, oh, they're not that bad yet, yeah, they are. I mean, you, you, I love what I do and I love the cows. Um, right now it's like therapy because they're doing good. Some mornings are, you know, more stressful than the others. But all in all, I love being able to milk our cows. I love being able to come out and hear the morning, hear the roosters, you know, crowing. Hear, um, you know, even Beauty, even though she gets on my nerves, hearing Beauty uh, moo and act like she's a Sasquatch. Love seeing the cow and the dogs and, and cats and just the whole farm. I hear the pigs in the background. So it's, it's a great time to be out in the morning to get some things done. But some mornings are cold, some mornings are wet. Some mornings the cows are not just in their best mood and it's like this morning I just don't feel good. I hurt my leg and and uh, I don't know, it don't feel real good. But it doesn't stop, you gotta come on out. But you know what it does? It produces perseverance, a great work ethic. My son, this is all, I have not pulled my son out yet, Aiden, which is uh, 11. I haven't put him out here working yet just because um, this last week because he, he helped me with Elsa every morning but I, I just hadn't done it with uh, Allie yet just because 
I wanted Allie to get used to coming in the stanchion and then I'll bring Aiden on out. Uh, I really thought with uh, with the baby acting crazy, I was going to have someone out here every day, but that, that that's done a lot better. So we're gonna wrap it up for the day. You see I'm pulling the milk to the house. I'm uh, ready to get a cup of coffee. We hope you're enjoying our content. I know today's vlog was just a little short, but I did want to give you an update on Allie, on Josie, how good they've done. Uh, I hope I can say that every day for the here on out. But thank you again for watching the Max. God bless you. And uh, again, share the Max with people you know. Uh, please, we, we really do love uh, making content and we hope you're enjoying it for one thing. But uh, share the Max, share our videos. But uh, thank you for watching the Max of 8 live events. We really try to answer questions and just have a great time with uh, all who come in. So thank you again. God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.